Hey guys, what is going on? This is Ip of Rage Quit TV. Right off the bat, I have Fnatic Green has purple on this overlay. He is green. He is spawning as that green Terran. And Root Destiny is the Teal Zerg. The map is MLG, Metalopolis. We'll find out where they do spawn. It's going to be cross positions. It's going to be a great game. We're not going to have any of these closed position games where Destiny just has to get 20 infestors. But you know what? He's going to do it anyways because he does love those infestors. And I actually haven't seen too much of his play besides what is on Reddit and stuff. I'll be honest, I don't really have that much time to watch a stream all the time, like majority of my viewers in here most likely. But from what I see, he likes infestors, he loves using them, and it just makes for some awesome, awesome games. And uh, Lane, if you don't know him, he's a very talented player. A lot of people don't give this guy credit. He did cheese an ST in the GSL Code S, but he also beat Hong on Prime, which is another very good Protoss, and... He made the games close against MC, and that is all you can ask for. You can't really ask to beat MC because, well, he is MC. He is just that good. You're not going to beat him. But if you make the games close, well, you're good, but you don't really look like you're that good because you lost. Now, lane, he is definitely a good player, and Destiny is going to be scouting him very early. He pulled that SCV, sees the Overlord, so Destiny can't kind of do any tricks. Says, oh, I'm not close by air positions because Rain already knows. Destiny right now at 11 out of 10 supply. I don't exactly know what he's doing. Is he going to open this game with a 10 pool? Yes! Or uh, 11 pool, actually. So Destiny, right off the bat, going for an 11 pool. Not going to try anything like expansion style. This may be because he is playing against Drain. And Drain, everyone keeps saying, like, in the thread, this guy is a cheesy player. This guy is so cheesy. And he is doing, looks like, kind of a normalish type build. Maybe not. Proxing the second barracks. As I say, he is doing a normalish build. Destiny throwing down the 11 pool to an anticipation of an incoming 2x, which, well, Rain is doing. So will this be enough to hold it off? Destiny sending a drone out and gonna be scouting is gonna see the second X, and I'm kind of questioning why Rain is putting it here. It looks like he's gonna be going for some type of macro follow-up because I would assume if he's trying to cheese Destiny, a better spot to place it would be right here, and they could just lift it up, land it here, and it's a lot closer to Destiny's base than it being built back here. So we'll have to find out what it is. That Rax did go down on 13 supply, so it was definitely early for a second barracks. This SCV did get rallied. It looks like Lane is going to see this hatchery from Destiny go up and uh, see what's going on. Destiny does have Lings out. His drone is coming back. He knows it is a two racks coming out from Lane. And we'll see what he does. He is not moving out just yet. This SCV does see the pull up, does see Lings, so he is going to be falling back. It is 13 drones to 16 SCVs. So... Destiny has cut a little bit more drones than you normally would see in a ZVT, but he thinks this is how you are supposed to play, and I think it's very, very safe. And Rain doesn't want to attack right now. He knows Destiny has the links, and he is just holding ground in the middle of this map to stop links from coming after him, maybe. I'm not sure. I think he's going to be moving out once this Marine comes. Yes, he is. He does have five of those Marines, and Destiny's one Ling going to get right past these guys. They don't want to stop for nothing. And these Marines are going to be coming in. Destiny does have quite a few Lings. The bunker gets placed here so the Marines can get into this little nice spot. And uh-oh, second bunker wants to go down. He's going to be walling these Marines in. Destiny's going to have to get a Queen out, expand this creep, build a Spine Caller to easily deal with these bunkers. And the Lings right now cannot kill these Marines. He needs a Spine Caller. But the Queen is going to be coming along. The SEV, though, does give vision of this high ground. So this thing has to be dealt with. Or that Queen won't be able to do too much. He has to kill this SEV. But I don't think he is. The bunker is up. Marines could be hopping in it. Destiny does lose a Queen. And Rain. Looking like he's in okay position. Destiny does have a lot of Lings. Rain going to be sending out more Marines. Interesting enough, he is not sending them one by one. So they can't exactly just get picked off. But I think that uh, Destiny going to give up that base. And just stop the reinforcing units. But Rain is coming back here to help out his other Marines. These Lings may get sandwiched, but no. Rain is going to be falling back, knows Destiny's plan, and he's going to try to get back behind some type of wall, maybe? I don't know. Destiny is pulling away. Rain does find safety. And Destiny in a lot of trouble right now. He is getting a spine crawl up here, but his queen did die, so she did not use a creep human to get it over here to poke this bunker from that high ground. 
this hatchery is going to be going down because of that fact. Even the SEV is getting in on this. He is tired of building. He wants to be a moon. And he is enlisting with his fusion cutter as he slices down that hatchery. And what is Destiny doing in his base? Nothing too much. He does have ling speed. So once the moons get away from their safe zone, they can get picked off. But Destiny did lose his hatchery. He is considerably, considerably further behind. 13 drones to 20 full SCVs. These lings want to do a like counterattack, but Destiny already, I mean, Lane is already prepared up for that with Marines up on this high ground. Destiny doesn't have too many lings left, and this is looking like the first game will be going to Lane, even though Destiny did that 11 pool. Doesn't look like he can hold off the two racks. And look how safe Lane is playing right now, walling off the bottom of his ramp because if Baneley's come, he hasn't came up in this main base to see too much, I don't believe. I think it's been a while since he come, he's come up there, so he doesn't know that a Baneley's nest is not out. So he gets this double wall up. Uh, maybe that's not a double wall. I thought he may have been completing this wall up, but it doesn't look like it. I think you can wall this off with one bunker and one barracks. And that would be so good to deal with any type of Baneley bust, even though it's... Not a wall. It will still help. It will slow Banelings down that try to get up here. And Destiny, looking like he's going to be totaling up on one base. Still on just Hatch Tech. His second queen is coming out. I am curious what he is going to be doing. The drone count, 19 to 30 SEVs. Destiny still has plenty of lings here, but I think the Marine count has outdone the ling count. 21 Marines to 27 Lings. And one Queen from Destiny does go and poke that, but Lane gonna try to take out those Queens. He's already killed one of them. The Spine Caller gonna burrow up on this high ground. Now can start poking away on that bunker, and he will be able to get an expansion up over time. But I think Lane at this point could just 1A and take out Destiny's forces. He has a lot of Marines. He just has to be careful about the counterattack of Lings if he leaves his base undefended. One bunker does go down. Now Destiny going to inch his spine crawler up to deal with the second one. But I think it's out of range. I think Destiny is fighting that out now. And he's going to have to go on this low ground with the spine crawler to take out that bunker. And that is not a good thing. The Lings are going back home because, yes, that is the case. He can't get the second bunker out for free. He's got to take a loss of Lings. Instant surround on that bunker. It is taking out Lings. And Destiny finally cleans this up and will be able to take his natural finally. But Rain moving out with a lot of Marines and Hellions. These Lings see this run immediately home. And Destiny can't expand yet. He's got a lot of trouble at his doorstep. He may be able to hold this off with a miracle thanks to that spine caller. Scan does go up though. That queen goes down instantly. And the spine caller forced to go back. Doesn't want those marines shooting it from the high ground. Wants to be able to attack it with his lings and spine caller at the same time. But those marines may take that out before it bows. No. Does get a few shots off. And is Destiny going to hold those marines? Stutter stepping back. And it looks like, yes, Destiny is going to hold, but it is two base Terran to just a one base Zerg. How the tides have changed. This is the position the Terran's okay with. He's fine being one base to two base. The Zerg, not fine at all. Destiny is in a lot of trouble now, especially because the Medivacs are out. And he will be dropping Destiny very, very shortly. Destiny going to try to do a counterattack with a few lings. Do anything he can to come back. His infestation pit is up. He does have pathogen glands. So his his infestor use going to be able to save him. If he's going to be able to hold this push off, he will get to that infestor tech, which is what he wants. Does have two infestors coming out. Maybe enough to deal with this drop. That infestation pit could go down. Those marines go in a place where those lings cannot get a sound. They come up. Medivac does get away. Fungal Growth does go down, and he has finally got those Infestors out, which is what he really wants. Medivac gets taken out, and Destiny, 27 to 28 Harvesters, 252. In the same time, Rain did clean up this one hatchery at the natural, so Destiny still on his one base. He is playing one base Infestor against a two base Terran. One base Infestor could work against, like, another Zerg. I know that used to be Destiny's old ZVZ style, but I don't think it's going to be working too well against Terrans.
and it looks like Rain is gearing up to move out yet again. Destiny, though, has Infestors on this high ground. Does have a Ling at the Watchtower, so he knows this is coming. His Infestors are going to go right here and try to get a huge fungal growth off as Rain does move out. Everything is clumped up, but is going. Is it going to be going far enough away? No, it doesn't. That is one big fungal growth. And Rain taking a huge hit there. Nothing died. His Marines are low HP. If he had one more fungal growth on that, he would have killed so many units, but not enough energy on those Infestors. And the spine crawler is going back. And a few Marines go up, gonna bait these Lings out. Siege tanks do hit those Lings. This army tab is a lot to a little. You can see 1,100 minerals versus 2,800 minerals. Even a ghost out to snipe that one infester. Army supply 66 to 27. Looks like this hatchery may go down yet again. Destiny gonna move out. He does have infestors with energy. But a good split of the Marines, and now Snipe going off on those Infestors. Destiny trying his HUD out to save them, but it doesn't look like it will happen. Still has plenty of tanks and Marines, actually one tank and a few Marines. Another Infestor has came out, but Destiny does call GG and says play Shadow Temple.